Hey guys, what is up? How are you doing today? Papa Snow here. Okay, so going through a lot of stuff lately and now I'm starting to feel really good about myself again, which is a big thing because, you know, the Lord is my savior, right? But I will tell you that today we get to do a beef curry. Uh, I was supposed to do this curry like two weeks ago, right? But too much going on. But we get to do it today. And I'm going to be teaching you guys, those of you who don't know, how to cook a curry very fast. It's not going to be a real long, drawn-out program. Uh, you just need to have yourself organized, have a few things in place, and you can cook a curry really, really quickly. Right? Uh, there will be a variance of this curry inside of our new cookbook. That is the One Guyana Food Festival First Edition cookbook. Okay, so there will be... Uh, this recipe inside the cookbook. All right. Yeah, Miss Chin, this is for the cookbook. Remember, I get to focus on this right now. I have the time, so it's gonna work out. All right, guys. So just some of the things. Of course, it's, we're gonna have beef, right? But just some of the things that we do need to have on hand to cook this meal. Okay. So we've got some curry powder. We've got some masala. We got some black pepper, we've got some salt. I've got a little bit of garlic salt here as well and you'll see how I incorporate that. Of course, we, we also have some uh, fresh celery and fresh shallot, right? Or for those of you who call them scallions, they are scallions, okay? Uh, now, I would have chopped up some potatoes and notice I put the potatoes in water, in some ice cold water, okay? I put them in water for a reason, right, so that uh, Feroz, whatever you want to call it, I'm calling it a beef curry, my buddy. Right? Uh, so this here, okay, I did this to ensure that my potatoes do not start to oxidize too fast. Right? Uh, so that's a very good thing to do. I've got some fresh chopped up garlic, some fresh onions. Of course, in my little uh, bottle here, I do have, uh, you know, uh, some blend grind seasoning okay what's up Floyd right and of course we do have I have approximately two pounds of beef now I now I asked Lily to uh, wash the meat and Lily definitely washed the meat out right so she made sure she washed the living daylights out of this beef um, which is good which is very very good right you gotta keep the meat clean okay all right so it's gonna be real simple my beef is washed up, it's clean. I've got my curry powder there. So what do we start doing first, huh? A lot of people might not be sure of what you should be doing first, okay? So the first thing you need to really start doing, your beef is already cut up, it's already clean. Stop working on your beef first, right? You need to get some flavors into this beef now, like really, really fast, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start to pre-season this beef here. And of course, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my basics, my salt and my pepper, All right? Uh, about two pounds of beef, I'm going to use about a teaspoon, a little bit, uh, about a teaspoon and a quarter of salt there. And I'm going to use half that amount, so maybe about three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper on the beef. Remember, I am currently just pre-seasoning my beef because when I'm cooking it, I have to do, you know, this little bit of stage to it, All right? One more thing that I'm not showing here that I definitely need to have here and I've got to get it back out is my tomato paste. I'm going to need some tomato paste, right? Now, I've got the garlic, the garlic salt, right? I've got the garlic salt here and I've got about uh, two, uh, two teaspoons of garlic salt. And I'm only gonna use one teaspoon of this garlic salt on top of this beef. And then I have the main man, right, that I want to add a little bit of it to this because I'm gonna cook this the way I like to cook it. I like, I want a little bit of spice in my beef. So I have my homemade pepper sauce. Okay, so this pepper sauce recipe for this stuff here, if you don't have a real concentrated pepper sauce mix, you're gonna find this mix inside the cookbook as well, right? I'm gonna just take a little bit of this, about, 
half a teaspoon. By the way, I'm a very good average uh, when it comes to measurements, right? So if you're not as good of an average when it comes to measurements, make sure you use your measuring spoons. Yeah, the pepper's hot, right? Pep this pepper is bun you twice, three times, four times. So if you're a faint-hearted person or you can't really like handle spice, just don't add the pepper. If you cannot handle spice, don't add this pepper. You will feel it. It's gonna, it's gonna bring back memories when you're in the bathroom. So know what you're doing. Okay, so real simple. Just season up the beef with the salt. Season up the beef with the garlic salt. And just mix it up in the black pepper. So, yeah. Right? No, I don't want any salt here. You have a lot of fresh onions. I want to overpower it. All right. After you do that, go ahead. I'll wash my hands. Like I'm sliding all over the place. Now we gotta uh, mix up the green seasoning too, right? And now we're gonna add in some of our green seasoning, right? Uh, we are cooking beef curry today. I really wanna set this thing up a little better so it's not kinda of sliding. I do have one of those things that holds the phone, but dang thing, it's sticking somewhere. Makes, makes it, yeah, it's stuck on a desk, so it's like kinda of hectic. They should've made it easier to take off. Now, uh, with this beef now, I'm going to add some of my wet seasonings. Right now, this here celery, shallow, and just a little, just a tiny, tiny little bit of what we call married man. Not plenty, though. Not plenty. And this has onion in it, right? Okay, good. And this also has onion and garlic and a little bit of pepper in it. All right. If you want the balance of this particular green seasoning mix, this will also be in the cookbook. If you are a Guyanese, there are a couple things you should have in your fridge. Or a couple things you should have at all points in time. If you don't got this, you're not the Guyanese who just cook. Okay? You got the green seasoning mix. You got your garlic and onion mix. You should have an onion and pepper mix. You should have a garlic and pepper mix. And then you're going to have some in-betweens. Right? And of course your pepper sauce. You have things like achar. A little sour. Thing like that. Pack away in your fridge. If you're the guy in each. You're going you're gonna to need that stuff. Right? If you don't have that stuff in your fridge. At least one of those elements. Well. We need to check your citizenship. We need to see what's going on here. Because somewhere down the line. Right? Um, you stop being guy in ease. Probably just like me, adapted to being a white boy, right? So now this white boy gotta bring back some culture here, right? I'm gonna bring some culture back here, right? Good. So right now I, I'm busy seasoning up the meat, getting my meat ready, and that's gonna actually settle for a little bit and set for about five minutes. Five to 10 minutes, I want that to set, All right? Uh, and then we're gonna actually start building the base now because we're gonna make our own little chutney thing that we want to fry down. I'm not sure exactly what you guys call it. I think, uh, you know, but uh, I make my little mix that I just have to fry down, dry down, and then bunjal up my beef and everything inside of it. And then we start adding everything else in and start working it down, right? So, what's up? Skin. Stop. Just up for Yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta do. Right in the kitchen with me today, we do have a lily apple. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so Floyd, uh, it depends on what you're cooking it in. Right? 
Um, I will show you guys what I am going to be using today to cook this curry. Um, because beef in Guyana tends to be very tough. Your local beef is tough. Okay? Pressure cooker, baby. Also, you ain't got the pressure cooker in your house. You don't know what you're missing. Right? So, I got my little tall top, Black & Decker here. Right? Uh, I bought this from Quartz last year. And uh, it's been working pretty well so far. Right? My rubbers, it comes with like an extra rubber. Right? Always carry your rubbers, children. Right? But yes, it does come with extra rubbers. Right? And uh, it's going to be useful. So this is what I'm going to be using to cook this curry right uh today because we'll have to pressure down the beef a little bit as well right and uh while we're pressuring the beef uh you know the bonje and the pressure that's going to be the first stage of this cooking right do not attempt to pressure it after you have put potatoes and other things inside of your curry because if you do that when you open up the pot you will no longer see the potatoes your curry sauce, the gravy, it could get too thick from the starch in the potatoes. Okay? So you have to know also by me soaking down my potatoes right now, the water helps to leach out some of that starch. Right? And that starch, getting rid of some of that starch is going to be very important for you if you wanted to keep this to be more of a diet friendly meal. Okay? Because that's going to be one of the. Uh, one of the things that adds to your belly, those starches, things like that, they help, you know, bound things together. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, where did that just disappear? Thank you very much for hijacking my kitchen towel that was pink. Yeah, that's how we do it. Replacement. Wait, this one is wet. All right? All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, Remember, we have a few things going on here. I do have my onion, I have my garlic, I have all of these things. But first, we're going to have to fry down this beef a little bit, right? And, uh, you know, as we're frying down the beef, we have to do our little green seasoning bonje. Bonje, I think it's bonje, right? I, I believe that's the term that was used. So let me go ahead and make my bonje mix fast, right? J mix fast, right? Because I can't really start frying down without it. Now, this is where the magic happens. Because all the flavor that can pull out of this dish comes from this particular Bunje mix. Alright? So, I have a spoon. Right? You stole my towel, I stole your spoon. Thank you very much. Alright. Basically, got two pounds of beef here. And I want my curry to have a nice color. Remember, I have to do this curry for the cookbook. So I want it to have a nice color. Part of the color from your curry is gonna come from how you are balancing your curry powder. Now remember, different types of curry powder will produce different results. Okay? So, this here now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and because of the potato, and I want a particular type of color, I'm going to use three tablespoons of curry powder to make this. I may not use all of this bonjay mix, right? I'm going to probably save some back, right? I'm going to add one tablespoon masala. And this masala, it is a special masala mix, okay? You will also find that masala mix inside the book, okay? And we are currently working on a special curry powder mix, but this here is a generic curry powder uh, from Guyana here, right? Uh, I found it to be a very nice curry powder, okay? $500 in credit, in GT&T phone credit, and GT&T is not the sponsor, by the way, right? To anyone 
who can guess what type of curry powder this is by looking at its color. Put it up close. This almost looks like a spoonful of gold, you know. Right? So challenge for the day. Let's see how much you know your curries. Right? Somebody wants to zoom in? Okay, hold on. Let me uh, switch up the camera a little bit. Let you zoom in. Okay. Look at the color. This almost looks like a bowl of gold dust, you know. This is like a high standard curry powder here, right? This is not your cheap stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh oh, who's calling me now? Uh oh. Right? Alright, guys. Right? We got a lot of. Whoa, we got a lot of different names coming up here. You guys don't know your curry? Are people just guessing? I think people just guessing. Right? I'm seeing some names coming through there. Uh -huh. Right? No way, I twerk later on after I done cook. Right? I will advertise the name of this curry powder. Right? If the people that own curry powder come up and say we want sponsor. Well, the name may change, right? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Woo! No, sorry guys, remember too, right? The fact that I gotta kinda start picking a new career, I'm just gonna live in food right now and I gotta work on food, food services, advertising, so on and so forth, right? I just think it's really funny. All right, back to our bungee mix, right? We got three teaspoons, three tablespoon curry powder, one tablespoon masala, okay? And what else are we going to add to this? Did you put away the green season? No. Okay, good. Now, this here, you can take some of the onions. You can take all my onions from the curry. What do you want the onion for? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, well, if it's to chase this food, take some onions. Hook him up, hook him up. That's my boy, all right? All right, so since this green seasoning mix, right, already has almost everything I need in it, I'm going to add this now to this bonjay mix. One, two, three. Now I'm going to put four, five tablespoons. Remember guys, I also have two fresh chopped up onions and I've got about six, seven chopped up cloves of, of garlic, okay? Now this here, I'm going to take some of that garlic, about half of it, add it in. I'm also going to take half of the fresh onions, right, and add it in, right, and just mix it up. Mix it up. Make sure it's very mixed up. Oops. Yeah, Javon, I tell you, at the end of the show, after the curry come out and you see what it looked like and everybody sees what it looked like, then I think I would be able to give more credit to, uh, to the company that has manufactured and made this curry somewhere in this world. <laughs> right? No, that defeats the point of it. Curry is such an important thing in Guyana or in Guyanese cuisine, right? The difference, I'll tell you this, the difference between beef curry and curry beef would be the curry powder, right? Big thing. Right? Big, big thing. All right, good. So, I got my bone jay mix here, right? And, of course, I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper to that as well. Oh, come on. You said I'm taking too long. I'm not taking too long. Everything happens in its time, my dear. In its time, everything happens. And I'm just, once again, I'm going to put like a teaspoon. 
of pepper in there. Nothing more than that. Plus, currently on an, in another area, we are cooking Chase's food. All right? So, and I'll go ahead and just mix this pepper in. Please be very mindful of how much pepper you are using immediately in your bungee mix. Because if you put too much pepper, when it comes time to fry it up and bungee it, you ain't going to be able to breathe in your house. Right? Bring the dal puri and call me Shrani. Bring the dal puri. I mind this beef curry and dal puri. Mm -hmm. That beef curry and dal puri. Good to go. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to fry up my bonje and then add in my beef. I fry down my beef a little bit, cook it up nice, bonje it up, make sure all the all the flavors and aromas start to go into that meat with that flavor. Then I'm gonna shut it down and I'm gonna pressure it for a few moments. All right? And when I pressure it for a few moments, yeah, thank you. And when I pressure it after that, then I can start to build the body of my sauce uh, or, you know, the curry gravy, right? And get the body to the consistency and the texture that I want. Right, and when that time comes, I'll talk to you about texture. Okay, good. So, really, really fast. Let me just bring this over here. Don't need much. Uh, turn on my fire. And this is where we're going to need a little oil. Now, you would notice I would have pulled the label off of my oil. If you would like to have your oil uh, advertised, right, you can please contact me and I will tell you how to get sponsorship. Now, I would have only used about two tablespoons of oil there. I've got about two pounds of beef, right, and I also do have to fry up my green seasonings. I do have potatoes there, BB. The potatoes are actually soaking at this minute, but I can't fry up the potatoes with the beef yet because I still have to pressure my beef and I don't want to destroy my potatoes. And that's something that a lot of people make mistakes with. They try to cook both at the same time, not realizing that one will cook faster than the next, okay? Timing, timing and cooking is very, very important. Uh, I need, need a big spoon today, big spoon for this one, yes, right? Right? Uh huh. Good to go. So, remember, guys, the first thing that we have to do to bring out real flavors here is we have to start with the bonje mix. Right? We have to start with the bonje mix. If you don't start with that, you'll end up having to add it in, and it's going to be a lot of problems for you later on. Because sometimes then, when you add it in, you're not going to get the right bonje flavor out of it because the beef would start to release water. And when the beef is cooking and it releases that water, it's going to change the chemical composition of your bonje mix. Notice that mine is not watery, it's not runny, it's got a good body to it. Right? Yeah, it's a late lunch, but that's because I'm not just doing this for lunch. I've had some other work I've had to do for today. I had the Lord's work to do today. All right? If I expect the Lord to be by my side, I have to do His work first and foremost. Because I've been doing work for people, and yeah, and I, I didn't like how I've been treated. So I'm only working for God these days. Let's see how it works out, right? And I think it's been working out very well because it's been an immediate change of attitude, immediate change of climate, immediate change of perspective. All right? So thing. Alright. So my aisle hot top, right? Lily, I might need you to be like my camera girl. Can, can, can you help me? Maybe. Okay, so. You see, yeah, just, just kind of hold this over the pot there for a minute because I need both hands to do it. 
but not too close, right? Don't melt my phone, right? I, I can't afford another one for you. I can't afford one for you either. Okay, so please don't melt it. Just watch the heat. I know you're a little short. Just raise your hands up a little bit. Okay. okay. So this is what we're doing here. I'm going to go however they want to call it. Let me see if I can look in the camera and cook it this way. Might not seem like much, right? And when it's in here, in this pot, guys, quick thing, keep it moving. The coffin, the pepper, okay, you can back up a little bit. Keep it moving, right? Now, I just want this to fry down just a little bit. Does not seem like much. Does not seem like much at first, but watch what happens. We're gonna get to see the magic. Get to see the magic. Kill some of that unnecessary light. Key trick here. Don't let it burn up on the bottom. Okay? You gotta keep your hands moving at this point. Because I did not use plenty oil. And in fact, I'm going to have to use a little bit more oil here. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can always add more oil. You can't take it out properly, okay? Remember this. You might be, you might say, yeah, I can skim it out because... No, 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 no. I just added another tablespoon of oil. Right? Just to help with the bonjour process. Just to show you guys. Can you guys see what's going on in here? Watch what I'm doing, right? I'm making sure nothing don't burn up. I don't want it to burn. Bonjour and burn is two different things, right? Some people, some people just forget it. And let it burn away. You made rice for us, though, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Some people just forget it, and you know, the bonnet. Let me see, Mr. Snow, show me some care, and you will see how I'll make you positive. Hey, I see things you don't have. A real woman friend, come back, stress with times and situations. I tell you what, my sister. I can tell you what. Mr. Snow has been through many, many things in this life. I've had many relationships. None has truly brought me happiness. My children from those relationships has brought me a great degree of happiness. But I think I'll just take my time. Whatever woman got to be for me, God gonna know, God gonna send, and God gonna provide. Because I done make a certain choice for myself. My choices did not lead me to happiness, so I must find a new way to choose. Plus, I could cook. No, I could clean. I might not like doing those things very much, but I could do them. Right? But trust me when I tell you, I don't need to be in a relationship with a woman for a woman to have my back. I don't need to be a direct brother with a guy for him to show me respect. We have to change those concepts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I can add in my beef. going on in the pot okay let's see okay so now my beef is in here my beef does have to fry down a little bit it's gonna cook a little bit 
Okay, it's going to release its own water. As I see my beef frying up and then it starts to release its water, right? That's when I'm going to go ahead and I'm just put a little tip more water and close it down and pressure it for a few moments, okay? And it's going to work out really, really well. Watch and see what's happening. Uh, I'm a big fan of seeing my food. What do I mean by this? Okay, remember I can't put in the potatoes yet. Cannot put in the potatoes yet. Because when I go to pressure this beef, I don't want to destroy my potatoes. Okay, very important. If not, I wouldn't have potatoes left in my curry. Right? You can already see the beef releasing water. You can see it there. Right? Now at this particular point in time, you want to have it on medium to high heat. Right? Medium to high heat. Right? So, this is what we're doing. Where is the masala? The masala is already in it. It is already in it. You guys are going to have to watch the beginning of the show. Where, when I was setting up the Bonje mix. Because the masala is in the mix. Right? Can you get me some tomato paste, please? Tomato? Yeah, tomato paste. Hey. Yeah, so... Now, I want you to see the color. Alright? I want you to see the color. Hey, Corenza. What's up, girl? How you doing? Alright, so I want you to see the color. Alright? Of what is going on I think my food should have the right color very very important so right now the beef is frying down you can see that one that one's releasing water uh, I'm getting some steam here that one's releasing water as well so my beef is cooking down right right now um, it's actually medium rare okay and uh, medium rare isn't bad before you are ready to uh to lock down and pressure okay so we're gonna have to lock down the pressure in just a moment all right yes i do like stew beef not nah. thank you can, can. No, no 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 woman woman that's tomato sauce not tomato paste huh? sauce and paste two different things all right lily two different things my dear two different things you know what? I still want this here. Alright. Clean. Hey, I really do do a good job of keeping my white shirts clean, you know. Okay. Okay, so let's show you what's going on here again inside the pot. Very important. All right, you're going to see in the pot at the very bottom, there are going to be areas where the seasoning was, was kind of looks like it's burning, right? A little charring. But we actually want to get that off because that's where the flavor is, right? So right now, before we pressure it, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of water, maybe about an eighth of a cup of water, nothing much, and then close it down, and I'm gonna steam it on this, and I'm gonna pressure it on this same low to medium heat. 
Yeah, Ryan. I cooked, I cooked that pork chop and I ate it. I don't use Aji when I cook. I use no Aji. Right? And I didn't use no cube. No cube. You use the cube. The cube is basically like a mix of seasonings. A lot of people use things wrong. But you could, depending on how you want to use it. But the cube is basically just a little block of a seasoning mix. So, if you're using the cube, you need to know what type of flavors. Also, I noticed some people use chicken cubes. Right? Yeah, I don't use the cube because of the same Aji thing. But I noticed some people just use chicken cube when you're making beef curry. Who wants beef to taste like chicken? It has to taste like beef. Right? But Abi is just going through anything in the pot and say, yeah, good. No, but you can't do that. Because then what you have is a confused curry. You end up with a retarded curry. Right? And Abi don't eat no retarded curry. Right? Thank you, thank you very much. Just pop one open. Okay. So now, yeah, okay, good. Ve veggie cubes could work. But once again, if you're using a veggie cube, you're def defeating the purpose of putting in all the other seasonings. The cube in itself has its, it has its own blend of seasonings. So, are you really cooking your curry? Or, is some, are you just putting it together? There is a difference. There is a difference, right? Thank you very much. So you need to know if you're the one that's putting together your seasonings for it or if you are using pre-mix. There's a reason why I didn't use like an adobo mix or why I didn't use like a, a pre-curry mix. Because if you're using those pre-mixes, you're not really creating a dish, right? What you're doing is just like, like you're copy and pasting in the kitchen, right? Please don't copy and paste. In the kitchen, good. Good, so I just added a little quarter cup of uh, water to my curry. And I'm gonna go ahead now and I wanna get, I wanna get this stuff off the bottom. There, I don't want it to burn, all right? So we're gonna be getting it off. And this isn't really too bad here. However, I do need to pressure. I do need to pressure him. Do need to pressure him a little bit now. And I'm going to go ahead and pressure this curry for a few moments. And I'm going to turn down the heat. I need this heat on medium to low. Not medium to high, medium to low. All right? Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Seasonings. Woo! Curry spicy, you know. You got plenty, plenty seasonings in the curry. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do here now, while this is gonna pressure down for just a couple of moments, let me just run back our ingredients really fast uh, that we've been using. Of course, in our uh, bonjay mix. Let me put the ingredients for the bonjay mix directly here. Curry powder, masala, salt, black pepper, garlic salt, special green seasoning mix. You will find this in the cookbook. And of course, our special bunya twice pepper sauce, right? So this is what the inside the mix that is currently uh, pressuring down with the beef, okay? And you will get the amounts back later on by rewatching this show or when you see certain things come out in the cookbook. Bada bing, bada boom. You can go and check it out, right? Sorry. Sorry, Emerald. I wanted to say that for a moment. Okay, now in the next stage of cooking, we will be adding um, potatoes. We do have some more fresh seasonings. Now, this is very important. Uh, these fresh seasonings are very, very important toward the end of the cooking process uh, for the actual looks 
and aesthetics for this particular beef curry because this is a beef curry that I am making for our cookbook. Okay? Um, there will be some tomato in it by the end of it. And of course, we do have some cucumbers, but those are for some garnishment on the side. Because if you're like me, you're a Guyanese, you're going to want a little cucumber and pickle and thing at the side. All right? If you eat it up. All right? Okay, and of course, we also do have some tomato paste that's going to be added as well. Um, it adds a little bit of sweetness. It helps with a little balance against any saltiness that might be affecting me. Uh, if we, by chance, happen to eat too much salt, we can actually balance that down a little bit with that tomato paste as well. And then it will add to the robustness of the color of the actual finished product. Please do not overuse tomato paste when you're going to use it. This is curry. If you use too much, you'll make it look like a stew. Defeats the purpose. Okay? I believe curry carries its own distinctive color. Hands down. Right? Also, remember, guys, we're still doing the curry powder challenge. Okay? Curry powder challenge. Look at this curry powder. Look at its rich color. It is an amazing looking curry powder. It actually looks like gold. It looks like a bowl of gold. You saw this in the back dam. You will go mad fit. And look like a good two ounce of powder gold. Right? But like I said, I'm going to be telling people uh, at the end of the show Remember, the first person to get it right will get $500 C-point credit from GT&T. Okay? $500 C-point credit from GT&T so that you could talk to your loved ones and all of that good stuff today. Or maybe just get a daily internet uh, service and you could tune in and watch my show. All right? Good thing. All right, guys. So I'm going to take a break for a few minutes while my beef is cooking. And I will be back in about five minutes. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless you.